Welcome to GCK Daily, also known as the Global Crusades with Kumi. We're so happy you're here with us today, and Dr. Kumi is excited to bring you today's message. In many quarters, there's a skepticism about the supernatural. Sometimes this skepticism is a product of an inability to reconcile the scientific with the supernatural. At other times, this wary attitude towards the miraculous stems from encounters with counterfeit forms or a lack of understanding of who God is. Regardless of the reason conclusion that produces this level of unbelief, God's character has not changed and His power and promise to save, deliver, and heal is as real as the earth on which we stand is real. Truth be told, for all the gains that medical science has brought us, there is still much that befuddles us and God has repeatedly shown His love and power in interventions that have no scientific explanation as these global crusades bring us countless testimonies of God's healing power. I pray that as you hear God's word today, your testimony of salvation, healing, and deliverance will abound. Look at Mark chapter 16, reading there from verse 15, it says, and he said unto them, go ye into all the world, like we're doing now through this global crusade to all the world from here the alpha location to all the major cities and villages everywhere in our country nigeria and to all the countries and nations here in africa and beyond africa everywhere go ye to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Look at verse 16. It says, He that believeth, that's you tonight. I said that's you tonight. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. I pray you will not be among the damned. I will not be among the damned. You'll be saved. I said you'll be saved. Verse 17. And this sign shall follow them that believe. As we're going back home tonight, signs and wonders will follow you. And this sign shall follow them that believe. Miracles will follow your home. Healing will follow you home. Deliverance will follow you home. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Verse 18. They shall take off serpents. That, that means take them off and throw them away. And if they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. What will happen? And the hand of the Lord will be on you tonight. What will happen? You will recover. The Lord will put testimony in your mouth. And then we're told in verse 20. In verse 20 it says, And they went forth and they preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them everywhere they preached the lord walking in with them every time they preached the lord walking in with them and the lord is walking with us tonight and confirming the word with signs following look at first corinthians chapter one verse nine it says god is faithful tonight god is faithful as we pray tonight god is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship unto the fellowship of his son jesus christ our lord when you come in fellowship with the lord great things happen and tonight as we come into fellowship with the Lord, great things will happen 
in your life. There are times when we, as we came into the world, we came with a particular challenge. Born with that challenge. But as we come in fellowship with the mighty creator, with the one who cannot fail and whose power is still at work until today, those infirmities and those problems we were born with, even those infirmities tonight, they will vanish away. So many people have questions. Is there any hope? What if I told you I found all the answers to all the questions you've been asking all your life? Welcome to the amazing story of God, the epic story of creation. Welcome to the most inspiring love story ever told, the most glorious season of your existence. Welcome to your encounter with destiny. Welcome to power and victory to grace and truth. Welcome to love, salvation, redemption, and healing. Welcome to GCK Daily with Dr. W.F. Kamui, beginning this September on Life Zone TV, every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. God will put a smile on your face. Prepare for your visitation now. So here are a few things that we've learned so far. Number one, Fellowship with God ushers in the supernatural, and the first step to enjoy that fellowship comes with salvation. Secondly, signs and wonders are God's promise to all who believe. And thirdly, faith activates the promise of God. In response to faith, God confirms His word. One of the crusades where Arch, there was a boy a child that was born with the palate cleft, closed. And there was like a deep wound, not just one, like an opening. And when the child opened the mouth, it's like a big ditch inside. They went to hospitals, they went here and there, but it was only when they were able to connect in fellowship with the Lord during one of the crusades, as we mentioned the name of Jesus, instantaneously that thing that the child was born with, he got healed immediately. Our God is an awesome God. And tonight, I bring you into fellowship to such a mighty God. Before I go on, let me show you that boy. Let me show you the family and see what happened to them and understand the same miracle power is here tonight. It roll that problem away. My, My name, name is Chibu I really want to thank God for what God has done to my son. Goswi Chibudum, he was born with a big opening from the mouth, right from bath, where when he eats, he comes from the nose, and when he drinks, he comes from the nose. So and, oh, we have made a lot of effort by going to hospital for plastic surgeries, but uh, we couldn't get a good result. When we have a global crusade, we went to the global crusade. At the end of the global crusade, when WF prayed for those who were sick, and after the prayer, we came back home, and suddenly uh, he went to the, my car beside the car and checked his mouth, and he saw that the, the opening has been closed. And uh, we, he shouted, we really glorify God for what he has done to his life, that he has no more fever, and uh, we are here to testify what God has done for us and for him in particular. For yourself tonight, praise the Lord. For your miracle tonight, praise the Lord. 
for your divine connection to the almighty God. Praise the Lord. Your own time has now come. My time has come. I'm looking for somebody there. My time has come. And tonight, God is faithful. Through Jesus Christ, you'll be connected with the Father. He will bring you into fellowship. The middle wall of partition, your sin, your condemnation, your guilt that separated you from God, the Lord will remove that tonight. You have come into fellowship. He will say, you are my son, you are my daughter, I have forgiven you. And in that fellowship, miracles will begin to flow in your life. Now you may be wondering, can I experience an instantaneous miracle such as I heard tonight? The answer is a resounding yes. A thousand times yes. Come into fellowship with Christ. Step out of the darkness and into the light and experience God's saving and healing touch on your life. Pastor Kumi returns with that free offer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I believe it doesn't take your time. The God of mercy, I've received your mercy of salvation now. I pray with your Father in the name of Jesus. I pray for all these who have been convicted of their sins, who have confessed their sins, who have asked you for the blotting out of the sins and the cleansing and the salvation and the freedom. I pray, grant them that salvation now in Jesus' name. Blot out all their sins. Take the remembrance of their sins away from your sight in Jesus' name. Grant them pardon and peace in their hearts right now. And Lord, give them the power to have a new life, a changed life, that they'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we know you cannot fail. You said the name given to Christ is the name above every name. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in Jesus' name. And we pray that every incurable disease and every oppression, every attack, every affliction will bow at the mention of the name of Jesus tonight in Jesus' name. Lord, begin your work on everyone. Miracle for everyone. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Confirm it in Jesus' name. That madness, that insanity, brain problem, be healed in Jesus' name. Goiter, ernier, fibroid, elephantiasis, any swelling in the body. Lord, I pray miraculously, touch them now, deliver them, heal them in Jesus' name. Internal disease, HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, cancer, ulcer, kidney problem, liver problem, bleeding, touch everyone right now. Miracle of healing, miracle of deliverance for everyone in Jesus' name. Incurable, long-standing sickness. Lord, with man, this is impossible. But with you, all things are possible. Reach out to them right now. Touch them right now. Raise them up right now. Lord, that incurable disease be healed in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, 
even if they were born that way, or they came to that later in life, I pray the Lord will open your dead ears. Lose your dumb tongues. Miraculously begin to hear. Miraculously begin to speak. In Jesus' name. Lord, those who are blind, whatever there is seen for that blindness, I pray, Lord, you touch their blind eyes. Blind eyes, I command you, be opened and begin to see in Jesus' name. Clear their eyesight. Make them see clearly. Lord, I pray that those who are lying down helplessly, or they're on crutches, or they're on wheelchair, Lord, I pray that your mighty power will recreate them right now, and the power, the strength, the ability to stand up and walk affect it in their lives right now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Everyone now, everywhere, whatever the name of the sickness, whatever the name of the problem, receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Lord, manifest it now. It shall come to pass. Let it come to pass. To the right, to the left, at the back, in front, in the middle. Lord, let it come to pass. Over the radio, television, online, everywhere, every nation, every congregation, miracle, manifestation, performance. Let it come to pass. As we open our eyes, we'll open our eyes to miracles, God, Lord. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. God does indeed have a plan for your life. And the rain of laughter and love and joy will flood your life with God's goodness. Thanks for being a part of GCK. Daily we post new videos right here on our regular basis to keep you strengthened in your faith. When you share and subscribe to our channel, it helps you to share this life-saving message across the globe. Please let us know how you have been impacted by our ministry in the comments section below. Keep in touch with us on all our social media platforms, and we look forward to connecting with you as you join us from across the world at the next Global Crusade. Thank, Thank you. you.